Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday Morning Must Knows. My name is Merlin Rothfeld, and here are three very important things to pay attention to for the upcoming trading week. Now, we'll start things off with one that might not be that important. It's earnings, and there are very few companies reporting earnings this week. You can see we have 65 companies, and we'll start things off on Monday with a company that, well, let's just say they couldn't make it to the party last week when they were supposed to report earnings, ACB, which is Aurora Cannabis. Hmm, I wonder why they missed. On Tuesday, you have Micron Technologies and IHS Marquette. Wednesday brings us Jabal Circuit and Commonwealth Bank, and Thursday, you have McCormick, you have Bed Bath & Beyond, Paychex, and CarMax, and Friday, you've got nothing going on, and that is just your simple earnings. Again, 65 companies reporting this week, very light, but some of those might be in your portfolio, so expect some volatility in those securities. Now we move on to the big stuff, and I mean very big stuff. This could shape the rest of the market for the remainder of the year. That starts things off with the infrastructure bill. On Monday, there's a self-imposed deadline for the vote for the infrastructure bill, which at this point could be a couple trillion dollars going into various sectors of the economy. At this point, they are bickering back and forth, as politicians just simply love to do. Now, of course, as this goes on, we'll see where this money might be allocated, which pieces are going to be added to the bill or pieces might be removed. Do we get a vote on Monday? My guess is we probably will, but normally it gets pushed a little bit further down the road because there's something coming up a little bit later on in the week, which they might be using as like a little incentive to get their initiatives put into the infrastructure bill. What is that carrot? It's called the debt ceiling. Cue the dramatic music. Dun, 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 dun. The debt ceiling is an ongoing discussion that's been going on for decades, and really it's spending. What's that government budget look like? Well, they keep raising this ceiling, and right now we are hitting our head on it, and we are going to knock our head on it and run out of money on October 15th. Now this vote should happen on October 1st. If they don't raise the debt ceiling, a couple of simple things may happen. Number one is we start to run out of money. And again, October 15th is that estimated point where we actually run out of money and we have to stop paying our bills. Now, what happens when you stop paying your bills? Well, let's go into a worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is we can't make our debt payments, which means we go into default. If the U.S. goes into default, you can expect these equity markets to have some significant downside movement. But let's be honest, they're probably not going to go into default. We'll probably find our somewhere in the middle where there'll be some negotiations they'll probably raise that debt ceiling the question is when are they going to raise it do they continue to hold the line a little bit and maybe we go to November 1st and we get a 15-day government shutdown or a one-month government shutdown or do we go to December maybe even longer or is it settled right on October 1st that I don't know but the debt ceiling combined with the infrastructure bill is going to do one thing for certain and that is add a tremendous amount of volatility, both up and down to our equity markets, our futures markets, and even those options uh, markets as well. So there's a lot of volatility to be expected this week. It's going to be very exciting. Make sure you practice good risk management and use your supply and demand that you learned at All-In Trading Academy to help protect yourself in these volatile markets.